Hey there. Me and Phoenix are headed to SFO to fly to Atlanta. I'm super excited because it's our friend Charlie Smith's birthday. He makes epic fire sculptures and we're going to check out a new fire sculpture that's never been seen before. Also, I've never been to Atlanta. Let's go to Atlanta. And we're in downtown Atlanta. We're visiting our friend Charlie Smith. He makes kind of epic fire sculptures. That may be an understatement. We're out here for his birthday party. We were staying above the Elliott Street Deli and Pub, which had the best freaking sandwich I've had in Atlanta. Though I've only had one, but it was really good. And there's something really cool I want to show you. But first, let's take a tour of this room. Yeah. I just felt like sitting in this nook and nooking. You just can't have too many nooks. Master suite, boom. Ugh. Got a Shea Lounge here. It's just so reassuring to know that it's there just in case you need to relax. Very cozy bed. This is the bathroom. And a jacuzzi tub. Is an epic bubble bath proposal dance party in store? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's because you don't follow me on Instagram. And you should, because there's some fun stuff going on over there. I love these artistic details, the raw brick and the I love the rustic vibe of this place. It reminds me of like New Orleans or something. Charlie set us up. We were picked up in a limo. Got this sweet pad. Man, he's like the host of the, the most. I wonder what he's up to. Let's go see what's going on in Atlanta. Boom. Trash Mountain. Hello, I'm Chuck Smith, and welcome to Trash Mountain. We're gonna escape from it tonight, barely. And tonight is gonna be amazing, and uh, Freddie and I are just What's going on tonight? A couple kids are gonna hang around, make some shab, and uh, it's a gathering of about a whole bunch of freaks I've known for 30 plus years, and uh, my little collection of bad blessings <laughs> along the way um, that come from all over the place. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. You'll see. Moments from now. Dun dun dun. Come, come. Welcome to the fire garden. What exactly are we looking at? Is this flaming pinball? I think so. Okay, let's go check this out. Well, this is Fire on Midway, and I'm Tom. Scott and Jessica and I have been traveling with such and such all and off for all these years and they let us do this. Oh my god! I don't know why. What do we have here? Uh, this is pinball. Uh, this is roller derby number nine. We're going to Laverne next week and uh, we're going to take this and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So what's the object of playing here? And if you can get all seven balls stuck in the game, you have won. Wow! It, it all seems so familiar yet. So it'll be... Whoa, did I get it? I don't 
don't know if I won or not, but I had a lot of fun. I think you're winning. That's a really big dog. Hey, dumb boy! Yeah, there you go. Right up those bells. Charlie, you got some money to burn? No, it's like going to Burning Man. Watch out, the train's coming! Who are you and what am I looking at? I'm Jeffrey, and we're looking at a brand new fire sculpture. So tonight, bringing out for Charlie and Freddie, celebrate their birthdays and everything else. We've known each other for years. What's interesting tonight is the first night anybody gets to see this shit. You know, but they're like kids. The weirdest thing is they have their own individuality to them. That even shocks me, even though they're made exactly the damn same. This one, I know the bad brother. This head is the one I tested. I made first before I make eight, right? Got a little attitude, doesn't he? Oh, it? he's got <laughs> some attitude. This guy was my test head. So I think he's like jealous. For me, when I'm creating my work, it's that softness. It's that quietness. It's not about the sound, the explosion, the concussion of what you see or feel. It is about the matter of what you see, the heat, the, the fluttering, the softness of the other aspect of fire arts. It doesn't always have to go kaboom. And what I love tonight is being able to present all these and learn what the hell they're doing. And so I can inform myself for the next work that I do. You, as an artist, are driven to create artwork that lives and breathes off and comes off the wall. Oh, very much so. But also, is that, is that experience factor? Uh, well, thanks, Jeffrey Loy, for sharing your work. And if you're at Loveburn, hopefully you'll get to see these pieces in person. Well, thanks for asking the questions and just, you know, hell, making me say something. And I'm just happy to present it because, you know what? I just fucking made it, and it's here now. Enjoy. I don't know what the hell you're doing, but I had fun. I've known Charlie since I was uh, seven years old, and so I've known him 42 years. Charlie's kind of like a dad, and a best friend, and a little brother, a lot. All wrapped into one. All wrapped into one. He's been one of the most important forces in my life. Uh, he makes stuff happen, and he makes shit that happens fun. That there's a character in the Lord of the Rings named Tom Bombadil, who is such a complex character they could not put him into the movie. And I, Sounds like Charlie. It's Charlie. He's crucial to the whole thing, but if you try and put him in a movie and make sense out of him, no. But he's the weave. Charlie's the weave that weaves us all together. He's a, 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 a Malcolm Gladwell described his people as mavens. And they are the glue that holds communities together. And uh, yeah, I can't top that. Well, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Love all you guys. You, uh, did you make some art? Oh yeah, this is uh, stylized like Coco Pelli. When I was uh, eight years old, uh, my mom and dad took me and my brother to a children's museum and I saw a zoetrope and I was just, you know, mind blown. And the next year when I was nine, we went to uh, Friends of the Family for Christmas and they had a little German thing called a glockenspiel with four candles above a windmill that was spinning and they little chimes and I was like 
We have to put these two things together. Fire powered movie, like a, the heat making it spin. And uh, it took till 2006. Well, thanks for hanging out and talking about your art. Thank you so much for this, and this means a lot to me. I'm so, I cannot believe you guys are here. Everyone's here. No one's ever here in Atlanta. We're all here. And you guys are here. Welcome to Atlanta. And we're back in San Francisco. Thanks for joining us on this little adventure, meeting artists and checking out their work. Links in the description. If you enjoyed this adventure, go ahead and smash that like button. If you'd like future notifications for videos, which there's going to be some epic ones coming up, let me tell you. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>